what's up you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Danielle Carolyn I'm a freshman at the University of Georgia and I post videos a lot I'm here to film a video for you guys all about how my first semester of college went and also gonna be talking about the classes I'm taking this semester and just kind of overview of like how UGA has been going for me all that fun stuff I wasn't gonna film this video but like so many of you kept asking me to do this like after exams of last semester so I was like you know what I'm gonna do it a lot of you guys want to know what classes I'm taking this semester how everything's going blah 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 so we're just gonna talk a little bit so last semester I started at UGA I'm an out-of-state student I'm from Florida Tampa Florida if you guys didn't know that um but I went into Georgia going knowing you know most people are gonna be from Georgia but honestly I didn't realize how many people really are from Georgia that go here like I know that sounds silly but like literally everyone like today I had my or yesterday I had my first English class of the semester and we were like going around the room saying like hi I'm blah 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 and I'm from this place everyone was from someplace from Georgia except for me actually no I think there was one girl from Texas but like what it's just like so crazy and I guess that's like normal like from high school and everything but like it's so different going to college like I was expecting a lot more diversity in that aspect but it doesn't really matter to me like I don't care and like I love people from Georgia they're always so nice it's just like really cool like I don't know I'm just very like when I say I'm from Florida people are like whoa that's so far and I'm like well we kind of border each other but like sure yeah <laughs> anyway so that was def definitely really interesting to just you know go into an environment where a lot of people already know each other from like or like they might know of them like they already followed each other on Instagram it was definitely interesting in that aspect it wasn't really hard to make friends people are really welcoming especially like the first few weeks of school like it's really normal for everyone to just be like hey what's up because like no one knows each other well like people know each other but like everyone wants to make new friends also I went through fall recruitment and I ended up going Kappa Delta which was really fun it's really cool to be a part of a sorority Katie or Katie I, I can't tell which was the right way to do this um but that's also been really fun I've made some really good friends within my sorority and other girls that like love to take Instagram pictures so it's been really fun shout out to you Morgan <laughs> I traveled a lot last semester and I think there's pros and cons to that. It was definitely good because after a while I felt kind of stuck here. Like it's just very like you're in a college town and I was used to living in Tampa where it's like I go to high school, like I go to school and then I go home and like I do my own thing and like I don't see people all the time. So that was definitely something very interesting for me because I'm like a super independent person. Like I love doing my own thing but then I love like being with people. So that's the only thing I've had to adjust with college. It's like you're kind of always with people. Um, but that's why if you guys don't know, I have my own apartment here. I live in the dorms. You're required to live on campus first year. I wanted to do that for the social aspect. Um, but with my own money, I do lease an apartment um, while I'm here so I can come and film and I can just have my own time. It's like my studio, um, my roommates in our dorm Lot and I don't like want to interrupt her and like I'm a super loud person I like to jam music like I like to film a lot of videos and all that so that's why I did this and it's definitely been for the best I'm not I don't regret it at all it's been so great um so sometimes you guys are like what the heck where do you live and I'm like I sleep at the dorms I slept at the dorms last night but then I come here it's kind of like my office as for food um I really can't stress this enough like it is so hard to eat healthy in college at least when you're living in a dorm like I'm telling you like you can't have a ton of fresh produce in your refrigerator. Like obviously I just posted my healthy college grocery haul. I'm trying to, you know, find new ways because I haven't gained the freshman 15. I really haven't gained weight, but I like feel different. Like I feel like less healthy in a way. Cause like when I was at home, I was always eating fresh fruit and vegetables cause my mom would just cut it up and leave it out. But like, I don't do that. And the dining halls are pretty good here, but I don't know, I don't like, if you want berries and really fresh fruit, like you have to be in the dining hall at 8 a.m. And I'm simply not always gonna do that. So. Uh, but yeah, that's been different in that aspect. It's a lot harder and like I really do eat ramen noodles and Chips late at night and it's so funny like I won't be hungry But then my friends eating and I'm like I should be eating too, right? Like that should be a thing So that's definitely something I'm trying to change this semester <laughs> As for academics last semester, um, I ended with pretty good grades like pretty average for like your first semester I'll be honest with you guys, I got A's and B's last semester and I'm not ashamed of it at all. I think it's very normal. Um, I told my parents, I was like, I think, like it is normal. Like it's, college is harder. I tried my best. I'm proud of it. I know I'm not going to be an all-A student in college. I, I know because I, I also do YouTube and I also have a lot of other, you know, things I love. I am trying to get a degree though. Um, so yeah, I just... I don't know, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, I have all A's because I, I, I don't. So last semester I took interpersonal communications, um, a math class, English, and marine environment. Oh, and a theater class. Last semester I had three 8 a.m.s and then two 9 a.m.s like throughout the week. So like every morning I was either waking up at seven or eight o'clock. Um, so that was definitely interesting because people tend to stay up really late in college and I did too, just because all my friends were staying up and then I would like 
whatever. I'm sorry, I'm getting really sidetracked. Um, but this semester, I'm really excited because I was able to stack my classes, which means I have all of my classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, which might sound crazy, but very doable as of now. I started classes and I feel pretty good about them. <laughs> this semester, I'm taking Intro to Ethics, which has been really interesting so far, actually. Um, and the second level of English, math modeling, and plant biology. But yeah, it was really nice to come back to campus this semester um, because I was a lot more familiar with the campus. Like last semester, the first few days of classes, I would get so lost and it was so hot out. Now it's pretty cold, but like I would be sweating and I'm like sobbing and I can't find anything because UGA is a big campus and like you actually do need to take the bus to certain classes. Um, so now I finally have the bus schedule down and how it all works and you know, the routes I need to take. So, you know, it's definitely an adjustment. And I, after talking to so many people and like going home for winter break, talking to my friends that go to different schools, they all agreed the same thing. You know, the first semester was definitely an adjustment. And I think something that a lot of people think, and I think I've talked about this before, is everyone's under the impression your first weeks at school or you know, your first year, freshman year, you're going to thrive. You are thriving, everything's great because that's what social media portrays. Like, oh my God, I love my school. I do love UGA, it is awesome, but there definitely have been bumps in the road. Um, you know, you just, you learn more about yourself, which is really awesome, and I, I think this has been a great year, well not year, not 2017, but like, great school year for me so far. I've learned so much about myself, like I originally started out as a business major, switched over to an advertising major in the journalism school. In my whole life, not my whole life, but the, like all of high school I thought I was going to be this business major. So, you know, it just goes to show college shows you so much about yourself and if you guys are worried about going out of state or, you know, leaving home or whatever it may be, like really do it and like it is hard sometimes. Like. I've cried this, not this semester, last semester I had some tears every now and then, not because I missed home, but just because things are different here, you know, I didn't have like my main group core friends, and I'm just being honest with you guys because I want you guys to know it is very normal to not be okay all the time or to, you know, kind of have this uncertainty. I've always been really certain of myself, but right now it's just like I'm learning so much about myself and it's really cool and, you know, you just learn to reach out to people and do different things and I've made some really cool friends that I never thought I'd get to meet. So it's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying my year at UGA and obviously we just went to the national championship. We lost by three points. I can't talk about it. Um, but it's just like, what a year to be a freshman at UGA. We have not been to the national championship in 38 years. What? So I walked out that aspect and the spirit here is amazing and downtown Athens is gorgeous and I love all the boutiques here I still you guys always DM me like I'm applying to UGA I'm a senior like how did you get in I have no idea I like I think it's just because I was super involved in high school like my grades were good my SAT score was eh but I think it's just because I was really involved in my high school and like I think my passion kind of showed through but I can never tell I'm not a college counselor I'm not an admissions person so I have no idea but I do wish you guys best of luck and if you don't get into UGA or whatever your dream school is know that you're just that's just because it's not for you or for whatever reason <laughs> yeah that's all I really wanted to talk about I love you guys so much and if you really have any questions or if you have any other videos like this that you want me to film please comment them down below I'm trying to post videos a lot more which is insane because I already post so much but I'm gonna try to post more I love you guys oh so much and I will see you guys very soon for my next video bye bye and go dogs